Hey guys, we got a new project in the shop today. Got this Johnson 115 that is not running. A friend of mine has brought it over, so first thing we're gonna do is check the carburetors out. And then we'll go from there. It could be an electrical issue, but more than likely, it's going to be the carburetors. 99.9% .9 of the time, that's what it is. And I think he missed it by one year. If, if this motor was one year older, he would have had electronic fuel injection. But, uh, hey, this boat has been left out in the weather, no doubt. But... This is a pretty nice boat, I will have to say. Say Prince Craft. I'm an amateur videoer, guys, so you have to deal with. I need a camera, I'm just using a cell phone. But yeah, this is a pretty nice looking boat. We're gonna see if we can get him going. Oh. He's wanting to go fishing, so uh, I'm going to see what I can do to make that happen, you know. Yeah. Let's see here about Get you set up here for a second. I'm going to take the top off of this thing. And have a look. This is a four cylinder, so we're going to have four carburetors. On this bad boy. He told me he'd spray some carburetor cleaner around the carburetors and all when it crunk up for a second and stopped, so that tells me right off the bat we're getting fire. So I'm not going to video and bore you with taking them off and all, but I will show you going through one of the carburetors. Yeah, we'll see how, see if we can get this thing going. Okay guys, we're back. We got the first carburetor off. Before we continue, I want to tell you, I am not a certified boat mechanic. I'm not a certified machinist, but I am self-taught. I learn everything on my own. I do have a Johnson 150 that I completely rebuilt. I may put a video on rebuilding that engine uh, if I can find it. But yeah. We got the first carburetor off of this boat, and I'll tell you, out of all the carburetors I've went through, I've never seen an all-plastic carburetor. This is the first time. I'm, but what we do have in this first carburetor, it was loaded with oil and some water contamination. And if we can see this, I'm going to try to get a shot. There is some trash, if you can see, in this bowl. So yeah, we're going to clean them up good, put them back on, but there's a possibility that there's a malfunction with the oil pump or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to dig into this some more after the carburetors are clean okay carburetor number two same issue not as much trash but we are full of oil and a little water not as much as the first one but if I had to guess, this is almost like a one-to-one -one mixture of gas and oil. So this motor is dumping too much oil. Um, 
into these carburetors. I don't know if he's got a low fuel issue and he's been trying to crank it without fuel or if there's a hose on the fuel tank broke loose. I don't know what's going on guys, but we're going to get it fixed. But we're going to get these carburetors cleaned up first and then go from there. Alright, I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, we're down to carburetor 3. It looks like we've got the same issues going on with it. Water and oil. I don't even know if a cold diesel would crank off of this mixture. Look at this guy. I mean, what the heck? That is bad. We'll get this one cleaned up. Go to carburetor 4 and find out what is going on with all this oil. Okay, carburetor number 4. Same issues. Well, there's no water this time. It's mainly just thick oil. Very little fuel. So we'll get this one clean, get them all back on, and go from there. Alright guys, during this process, of cleaning these carburetors I accidentally dropped a stainless steel screw down in the bottom so a magnet's not going to pick it up I probably got another screw no big deal but there's not enough room down in there you can't really see it but there's not enough room down there for a gr gripper to pick it up so I'll come up with a little idea and it's going to be the tip of the day. If you ever run into this type of situation, it'll work. I took a coat hanger and uh, put a little hot glue on the end of it and stuck it down to the screw and voila! Voila! It worked. So yeah, there you go. Try it sometime. Alright guys. Finally got the carburetors back on this Johnson 115. And uh, this to try it out. And uh, see how it does. Alright man, fire it up. And that's it folks, runs good, another happy customer, catch you next time.